So what do you do when your healing is threatening to leave you, quote unquote? What do you do when your healing is, is threatening to leave? I'd love for Andrew to answer this. Just having traveled with him on the GTRs, um, uh, Gospel Truth Rallies, I've heard him talk about this so many times and, and how honestly ridiculous this concept is. You cannot lose a healing. It's impossible. What happens is you quit believing what it was that caused you to be healed. You have somebody lay hands on you and man, because you felt the anointing, because it was the word was there because of whatever you believed. And so you receive. And then when you get out there, the devil hits you with some of the same symptoms. You feel a pain or something. That doesn't mean you weren't healed. It's just Satan knocking on the door. And if you say, oh no, I've lost my healing or well, then you just opened up the door and allowed the devil back in. All you got to do is sit there and say, Romans eleven twenty nine, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. If I was healed, I am healed. I refuse this. I command these things to leave me. And if you keep believing what you believed, you'll never lose a healing. But you can have symptoms. I've had things. We were sitting back here today talking, and I think I've had a massive heart attack at one time. But you know what? I stood and believed on it. I had this thing on my ear for six years and I stood and believed and it was a melanoma cancer is what doctors, I never went to a doctor, but they sought me out <laughs> and came and told me how bad I was. And I never went and asked anybody and I just stood and believed and it's healed. And I just kept believing and praise God, I'm healed. Amen. And Amen. Praise God. so to me, it just come. And again, I know I make everything super simple, but if you believe you're healed, then you just reject anything to the contrary. And if you have a feeling in your body or a thought in your head that it didn't work, reject it. Talk to your body and say, I'm going to have what I say. Yeah. Now the pastors will be more generous than this and they'll, <laughs> they'll be kinder, but I just say, pull your thumb out of your mouth and grow up. Amen. 